เจ็บไหมไม่หมอม่านมดเก่งเฮ้ยฟอลกส์และวอลคัมทูเซ็นทรัลพาร์ตี้ฉันจะขึ้นมาเปิดซอยบะคาวขึ้นมาที่นี่ฉันต้องไปไปถึงจุดที่สุดไม่ถึงจุดที่สุดแต่ประมาณที่สุดของซอยบะคาวที่เราไปถึงตอนนี้ฉันมีหลายอย่างที่จะทำฉันไม่ได้ไปที่พาร์ตี้มาประมาณสองสามวันแล้วมันรู้สึกว่าเป็นประมาณสองสามวันแล้วและหลังจากที่เราไปที่พาร์ตี้ฉันรู้สึกว่าเป็นประมาณสองสามวันแล้วและหลังจากที่เราไปที่พาร์ตี้ฉันรู้สึกว่าเป็นประมาณสองสามวันแล้วและหลังจากที่เราไปที่พาร์ตี้ฉันรู้สึกว่าเป็นประมาณสองสามวันแล้วและหลังจากที่เราไปที่พาร์ตี้ฉันรู้สึกว่าเป็นประมาณสองสามวันแล้วและหลังจากที่เราไปที่พาร์ตี้ฉัน I want to get a good meal while I'm in town, and V wants to get the the knots rubbed out of her leg. She's got some knots in her leg from sitting on the bike so long, and we'll go see her friends and get that taken care of. And there's a little bit of a special occasion going on tonight in town here, so we'll take a look at all of that. But first, let's get down here, and I need to get a haircut. So after two weeks on the road in Isan, first thing I'm going to do back in Patty is get a haircut. <laughs> There's Miss Nin. Hello. <laughs> so they're gonna take care of me. I'm gonna get a, get all shaped up here, back to normal. <laughs> well, that's a lot better. Feel a lot cooler. Almost sorted out. Uh, still got another stop to make. Let's go. <laughs> so next we'll get something to eat. Starving. Getting a haircut will do that. Work up quite an appetite getting a haircut. So we're gonna come over here. The hideaway. I think they have ribs. We'll try to get some ribs. If not, we'll get something else. So yeah, I've, I think I've only eaten here twice, and I think I had the ribs once and a fish and chips once. So I was thinking about getting the ribs, but when I walked in, I, I met one of my subscribers here, and they were eating something that looked. Uh, Maybe even better than that. I don't know. I saw this young lady enjoying pancakes. The pancakes look pretty good. They look legit. But I kind of wanted ribs. So I don't know. It'll be a decision. Hey, can I lie? Cheeseburger, nah? Cheeseburger. So look, there's all kind of creative deals going on. And found one here at the hideaway. This is Andy. Hello, Andy. And I've known Andy for a while. He he's got a guest house here. So if you want to book a room for next year, he's got a thing. If you pay now, you're going to get what? 40, 50 percent. It's up to 50 percent discount, um, depending on the period, the length of time. Basically, it's an email to me. Um, you can find that on the hideaway website. Um, just Google. Yeah, so the guest house here is very highly rated on TripAdvisor, and this is basically the same thing some of the airlines are doing right now. You pre-book, you pre-pay, and you get a discount. Uh, usually, there's flexible dates and things like that, so it's a little bit of a win-win situation for both parties. So you can save money by by booking now. And then he had it's it's it's, it's kind of like a cash infusion, kind of during the during the lean times. So probably you might see more businesses doing something like that. But I think it's very creative, and a lot of companies have done this in the past. Airlines, motor companies, buy now, receive the product later, but at a discount. So everybody wins. So yeah, this is also a similar deal. The U.S. government bought a bunch of Chrysler cars back in the early '80s when they were near bankruptcy. Yeah, Pre-purchased, probably at a discount. Most of them went to the military. But anyway, let's take a look at this food. See what we got. Might be the biggest breakfast I ever had in Patia. Huge, and a couple pancakes there. 
not one but two hash browns, three sausage, a little bit of mushroom and tomato on the side, bacon, beans. Now, what, what more could you ask for? And Bee's Burger looks fantastic as well. So, it's chow down time. <laughs> so yeah, after that lunch, or maybe I guess you would call it a brunch, uh, we got to go all the way back down Bacal again. I, I think the lunch, uh, I think it was a little under 400 baht for all that. It was a lot of food and drink. But anyway, we're going right up here on the left and see some of these friends. They've got several shops here. She's been having some pain in her leg because she, she did a lot of kilometers on the back of that bike, 2,400. So we'll get her all sorted out. <laughs> Last stop. A little bit of relaxation. So, so yeah, V will have her friend here give her a Thai massage. And I figure, well, while she's in here getting that, I might as well get one too. I'm just going to get a foot though. But, you know, they've got these big plastic uh, sheets up between the chairs. I guess that's part of their agreement to open. But this place is... Uh, the same as everywhere else I talk to. They are really strapped and hurting for customers right now. I think after an hour here, I'll be all sorted. The haircut, got the meal, a little relaxation. Good to go. So yeah, it's 100 baht for the hour in here, so that's about 3 US dollars. That's a 50-50 split between the shop and the, and, and the person doing the labor, obviously. And generally, they expect a tip. Um, so people have asked, well, what should I tip? You can tip anything you want. Uh, what's kind of expected for the hour, if you're there for the hour, they like to see at least 50 baht. If you give them 50 baht, generally they're happy. If you want to go more, that's fine. But if it's less than that for the hour, they they a little bit of a sad face sometimes. <laughs> so I generally give uh, 50 to 100 somewhere in there. <laughs> So yeah, the boss has three shops right along this block, and I've been a regular customer since I moved here. Oh, that was lovely. We're almost done for the day, but uh, I feel sorted now. Sort of. I sort of feel sorted. <laughs> so after all that, we went back to our hotel really neat hotel which I will show you on the next episode that should air about 48 hours after this episode this it just ran way too long why with all the festivities that would take place this night however I also thought it would be a good idea to stop by the beach since it was a holiday weekend beach looks pretty crowded today it's holiday weekend here. yeah I, I honestly can't remember the last time I saw this many people on the beach here in Padia it's mostly Thai or domestic tourists, but they're definitely taking advantage of the holiday weekend. I also noticed a spike in the hotel prices when I was booking for my hotel. Uh, some of the ones that I got before for 2,000 baht were up to 4,000 baht. So yeah, I generally just leave the bike at the hotel when I'm going out for the evening. But we, we meandered up from the beach up to Soy Bacow and then wound through back up to Soy Chayapoon and that's that would be our destination for this evening. It is a Sunday night. Sunday night's usually not your best night. So this looks busy. Yeah, my, my, my buddy Nick's place is right up here. He's He's celebrating a one-year opening anniversary. He opened a year ago today. And I was there for his opening night, so I thought I'd come by and support him for his one year. So we'll see what's doing. Oh, well, looks there, there's a crowd already. So we'll have a good time. Hello. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it might be here. It's maybe here. สวัสดีครับไม่เบียร์ไปกินอีสานไปเที่ยวอีสานสนุกไหมโอ้ยสนุกสนุกสองสอง So yeah, Mina was out enjoying a little evening refreshment with her friends here, and she she couldn't wait to ask how the Isan trip went. She asked me if I had fun, and I told her yes, and told her how wonderful it was. V took the opportunity to show off a, her battle scar from when she slid down the the little bank leading down to the lake while we were out there in the village. Yeah, a lot of people are asking about the trip, but I got nothing but good to say about it. So it worked out good. It worked out perfectly. Welcome. Say welcome. <laughs> So I was a little bit surprised at the amount of people working here, but it was a special night for him. And as the night would unfold, I guess that many people were needed. It got real busy, but I wanted to know how many were there because I wanted to buy them around. And it was so many, she had to use a calculator just to figure up the amount. But uh, there it is. So I'll go ahead and pull the horn. So yeah, that generally makes everybody happy. But I'll tell you what, running one of these places and keeping it afloat, especially in a year like this, some places don't last but a couple months. So a year is a pretty significant little anniversary. So I don't mind supporting them. So I had to come and say happy anniversary or happy birthday to. This place here, but Saturday, August 1 1 st I'll be here about seven o'clock, seven to ten, uh, for a little welcome home get together for my uh, for my trip. So you want to come by Saturday, August 1 1 s t right there, Soi Chai Pum. Stop in and say hi. So hope to see you. But we're gonna take care. I just bought a round for him, and we'll enjoy that. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, it took a little while for the party to get started. I got here very early, but I, it, it, things are happening earlier now. Uh, most of the venues are being held to that 12 p.m. closing time, as far as I know, which usually is not the case here. Things go on to the wee hours of the morning, but. I always like to look around for deals. Now, the last episode, I told you about a patty of price war, and that is still going on. And this may be the crescendo of it. Here you go, 39 baht there for a drink, six to nine. I don't know how how they would go much lower than that without losing money. Now, if you're familiar with that venue, between six and nine, it's not really happening at that time, but still. 39 baht. I don't know anybody's going to beat that. Uh, six to nine. Also, that's a pretty generous happy hour. So yeah, right now there are tourists coming in from all over Thailand. People who live up north, down south. I met a guy from Bangkok. A lot of them coming here to take advantage of deals. But without the international tourists, it's still rough sledding for all the businesses here. But I think by around 8:30, though, we we had a full house and the party got started. <laughs> So how high tech is this? My buddy Nick's doing a live stream for the whole place here. You can see it. I can see it going on right there. <laughs> That's amazing. Doing it live. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, what to do, guys? I'll put you. I'll reverse the camera. Now he's turned it around. That's right. 
They really got a full house here tonight. Yeah, look at this. See, I know there are people all over the world that want to come here and cannot right now due to the situation and the closed borders. But I think the fact that he did this could, for some people, help ease the pain a little bit. Oh, we had a good time. Lots of people there. Lots of people turned up for that. I was very happy to see the support. It's doing a live stream to almost, I think, about 500 people worldwide. It's amazing. So we'll call it a night. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I did the first day I returned back to Pattaya after the Isan trip. Uh, the hotel and resort stuff notwithstanding, uh, that will be the next episode. It was just too long for this, and there was quite a bit that happened on this episode. So we'll take a look at that next time. Uh, just out in, in the morning here for a little ride, and we'll go down Walking Street and see what's doing. This kind of looks the same as always. A lot of signs out there, a lot of for rent, for sale. But anyway, that'll be another story. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one off here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.